<laughs> you already know the drill what's good what's happening what's gucci it's your girl naya back with another video by the title you should know that this is basically a video of my wash routine it is an updated wash routine so that is the most recent wash routine i've been doing now but my wash routine now is based on um repair and growth i already have pretty much healthy hair and i already have my curl pattern at its full capacity i do have like two or three different textures in my hair so some people might think like oh your hair is damaged it's not it's just some is looser than the other but other than that it's pretty good uh, i do want to keep this intro short i just want to say that basically i tried to make the video as short as possible and i try to make the video as detailed as possible at the same time so you know what i'm putting in my hair uh how much and you know the whole process basically going on so i really do hope you guys do enjoy this video and so without further ado let's get right into it all right so basically right now i'm just showing how much uh apple cider vinegar putting in and i'm just gonna put in some water i should have put in warm water but i put it in cold this is how much i'm gonna be using on my hair for today and yeah and now i'm just basically putting my hair into six sections basically left and right i'm having three each I'll be also using a wide tooth comb. I'll also be using Vanity Planet's shower scalp massager, which feels the best. I'm using Shea Moisture's deep treatment mask. And I'm using their anti-breakage mask, as well as I used to have the renewal one, but I ran out and couldn't find it anywhere. I'm also using Ozzy's moist shampoo and conditioner. Also be having extra virgin olive oil and my deep conditioning so I can hype up the moisture from my hair. I'll be using shower caps and I'll be having Cantu's tea tree and jojoba oil. That water like totally caught me off guard. But right now I'm just basically going to be rinsing my hair with just some lukewarm water just to get my hair saturated in it. And right now I'm just going to put up some of my hair. I didn't have any clips so yeah. And then so right now I'm just going to go with the ACV, which is apple cider vinegar, and that stuff is super strong. It smells, yeah, so it's really bad. Um, but yeah, it's really cold as well. I should have put lukewarm water. So basically I'm just going to saturate my hair with that from root to ends. Whatever runs down from my roots, I just have to the ends, and I just scrub it on in and just really get my scalp really good and scrubbed. So now basically I'm just going to detangle my hair with my fingers. I do use combs occasionally but i've been so liking to finger detangling so we're just going to skip ahead to where i already did all of my hair with the acv rinse and i'm just basically going to show you what my hair looks like it's pretty detangled and my curls are basically starting to pop you know what i'm saying now i'm going to go in with ozzy's shampoo i use quite a bit in my hair to really get all the acv rinse out and the smell as well as really get all of the um dirt and stuff out of my scalp i love ozzy's when i do not have Purple essence and as you see right here it is not easy recording with the shower but I'm just gonna go on with Vanity Planet's uh, scalp massager I actually do use this stuff it vibrates and it's pretty amazing as far as massaging I find it relaxing I can't say for others but it's really great for me I'm a scalp massage I would not say I really say any difference as far as using it besides my hands but I do use it occasionally when I remember to grab it and put it in the shower so right now I'm just scrubbing all over make sure that you are pulling your hair away from your scalp so that you're not tangling up your hair you don't want your ends to fall out and be breaking and stuff so we're just gonna scrub away and do all of that and so now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair I'm gonna come right back and here is basically all my hair shampooed all of my I just basically do my roots I don't do my ends it looks like it's all my hair but it's just my roots so now I'm just gonna go in and wash my hair out I do wash all of the shampoo out and I make sure that all of it is good and clean and right here my hair looks pretty clean my hair doesn't look too dry I didn't feel dry and also my curls are like pretty much intact and all that stuff so now i'm just gonna go on ozzy's conditioning and now i use quite a bit of conditioner my hair is pretty thick so i gotta make sure all of my strands get some love so i just basically take all of my hair and i'll take one side of my hair and split into three sections again and i'll just start from the back and work my way up i didn't have a clip and so I had to use um, this elastic band that I just found in the bathroom. And I'll just tie my hair up away and make sure it's out of my face. 
So now I'm just basically taking it and I'm starting from basically the middle of my hair and I really focus on my ends because my ends is the most important. My roots don't really matter as much, I would say. Curls is ready for the combing process. It's basically I'm just using a wide tooth comb and I'm starting from ends to roots. So don't do from roots to ends, start from ends to roots. So this is basically my hair when it's fully detangled. Um, none of my hair actually fell out. I actually had a pretty good time with my detangling process this time. So now I'm just gonna go and rinse out the conditioner. For me, I don't wash out my conditioner 100%. I make sure it's about like 10%. So I have like 80% of it washed out, maybe 90% depending on how I'm feeling what my hair needs. And so now I'm basically gonna start the deep conditioning process. It's my favorite part. So I'm going in with both of the deep conditioners together and I'm just gonna start with the anti-breakage first so I can really put some care to my split ends and any of my dry hair. I just basically put it all in my hair. I do not put it in roots again. I just focus on the middle of my hair to the ends and really focus on my ends because my hair is dry at the end. And so now I'm just basically detangling it. I wanna make sure all of my hair is really full and detangled because if I do not detangle my hair, I have a harder time later when I style. So now I'm going in again with my deep conditioning from the deep moisture part. And I just do the same thing from middle of my hair to the ends and then focus on my ends and then I detangle. So this is basically what my hair looks like after it's been fully detangled on this side. And then so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on with the rest of my hair. So this is basically what it looks like and I just put it into a bun after I've detangled all of my hair and then I'm just going to go ahead and put on a clear shower cap and I just cover up my hair and then I'm just going to leave it on for, well, 30 minutes and then this is also what my hair looks like after all the combing, the detangling, how much hair I've lost and so for me, I think that's pretty good. So I've already left my hair bun for about maybe 40 to 45 minutes instead and so I'm just going to take out the bun. And this is what my curls look like, my curl patterns throughout my head. Um, I haven't fully rinsed it out yet, but this is what I'm going to show you what it looks like before I rinse it. I'm just really going through and showing throughout my hair like what it looks like from the back, from the front, everything like that. And so now I, I've come out and I've rinsed my hair with cold water. I actually sometimes do lukewarm, but I just had to do cold water and I did not rinse out all of the deep conditioning. I rinsed out about 90% of it maybe and then left the rest in my hair so I can get ready for the styling process And now I'm gonna grab an old t-shirt. I just grabbed this one. I got from American Cross I use anything that's basically a white t-shirt I do not care about and I put on my hair for drying I've never dried my hair with a towel and I don't use the microfibers and I just yeah I just tie up my hair with that and I'm pretty much set to go and basically after that, I just leave that on and so my hair is about maybe 80% dry. And then after that, I had to go ahead and style my hair. All right, y'all. So that was basically my wash routine. Um, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. I really did put a lot of time into this wash routine. It was pretty difficult to actually have the angles in the shower and make sure that, you know, nothing inappropriate was showing and that, you know, I can show you guys exactly what I'm doing without cutting things out so you know what's happening. And a lot of camera off, camera on, and the camera not fogging in the shower, and all that kind of stuff. So, if you like this video, comment down below, subscribe, click that bell so you can be updated for the next video. And if you would like to see how I did my hair, this is basically this mini twist. I do have a video that you can actually click in probably at the end of this video, or it'll be linked down in the description box. So, if you would like to see that, go ahead and click it. I'll see you guys in my next video.